Here's an experimental uh, image I've been working on. This is the uh, original image. Actually, this image uh, includes uh, three layers and two exposures. This being the first exposure, and um, this is the second exposure. So I, it, the image actually uh, contains two exposures, two photographs. This was the first, and and that was the second. And um, what eventually I wound up with is this. And I'm going to show you how I achieved that with just two exposures. Well, the first thing I had to do was on the on the second image I had to create a a layer mask because this is uh, entirely too bright and washed out. But there are certain areas of the image that I would like to incorporate in into the final image. Some of those areas were the tree, this area right around in here, right around in here. And I thought maybe I'd create a little dramatic effect by having a sunbeam coming right in through here. Okay, so what I had to do is, on the second image, I created this layer mask, and I'll bring in the layers palette here to show you to show it to you. Here is the second image uh, without the layer mask, and here's the layer mask right here. And let's have a little look at the layer mask. As you know, what a layer mask does is. Wherever it's black, it's not going to allow any of this layer to come through. However, where white is or gray is, it's going to allow some of the image to bleed through onto this bottom layer right here. So black here is not going to allow any of the light to fall down through to this bottom layer. And this is the bottom layer, right there. And of course, in the white areas, there will be a lot of uh, light coming through uh, to the bottom layer. So, there's the original layer. There's the modified second layer with the mask. And what I did was um, I put these two to combine together on a third layer just to show you how I created a little sunbeam. And I did that in another tutorial, showed you how it's done. So we started out with this, progressed to that, and eventually wound up with this. So this kind of describes my workflow, huh? Before and after. Not bad. <laughs>